Hello fellow bibliophiles and welcome back to Blatantly Bookish. I'm Marissa and this year for Jane Austen July I thought it would be fun to do a little Jane Austen quiz for you. Right, so I have this book, What Would Jane Austen Do? Quips and Wisdom from Jane Austen and I've selected 10 quotes from her main six novels for you. I was really tempted to pull from her letters and Lady Susan and Sanditon too, but I just stuck with the main six novels to make things a bit easier for you. So I will read them all first and then go over the answers in the second half of the video. So let's see if you can guess which novel these quotes are from. Bonus points if you get which character said them and the context of the quote as well. Number one. We all have our best guides within us, if only we would listen. Number two. Seven years would be insufficient to make some people acquainted with each other, and seven days are more than enough for others. Number three. I will be calm. I will be mistress of myself. Number four, if I could not be persuaded into doing what I thought wrong, I will never be tricked into it. Number five, the person, be it gentleman or lady, who has not pleasure in a good novel must be intolerably stupid. Number six, I suppose there may be a hundred different ways of being in love. Number seven. My idea of good company is the company of clever, well-informed people who have a great deal of conversation. That is what I call good company. Number eight. I always deserve the best treatment because I never put up with any other. Number nine, do not give way to useless alarm. Though it is right to be prepared for the worst, there is no occasion to look on it as certain. Number 10, I declare after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tires of anything than of a book. When I have a house of my own, I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. So how'd you guys do? Let's go over all of the answers. If you need a moment to go back and look at any of the quotes again and think about them for a second, please go ahead and do so. But now going forwards, we will go over the answers and there will be spoilers for all six of Jane Austen's main novels. So the first one, we all have our best guides within us, if only we would listen. That is from Mansfield Park and Fanny Price says this quote. Fanny has been shipped back to Portsmouth and she's in this deep conversation with Henry Crawford who is very persistent and is pressing and flattering her and Fanny is trying to assure him that she is not interested and let him down gently. The second one, seven years would be insufficient to make some people acquainted with each other and seven days are more than enough for others. This is Sense and Sensibility. Marianne says this quote. Eleanor is questioning the propriety of Marianne's accepting a horse from Willoughby, who she just met so recently. And Marianne explains to Eleanor how it's fine because she already feels so close to Willoughby and she knows him so well. Spoiler alert, Marianne is definitely being too hasty here. Eleanor is absolutely right. Marianne does not know Willoughby enough in such a short time frame to truly judge his character and build this type of a close acquaintance with him. Number three, I will be calm. I will be mistress of myself. Again, this is sense and sensibility. 
Eleanor says this when she finds out that Edward is coming to visit them. And this takes place just after she thinks that he has married Lucy Steele. So she is not exactly excited to see him. Number four, if I could not be persuaded into doing what I thought wrong, I will never be tricked into it. This comes from Northanger Abbey. Catherine Moreland says this, she didn't want to cancel plans with the Tilneys, but John Thorpe went ahead and did it for her anyway. And she makes it very clear to him that she didn't want to do what she thought was wrong. She did not want to cancel plans with the Tilneys in favor of going on an excursion with the Thorpes. And she's not gonna be tricked into doing that. She's gonna go chase after Eleanor and solve the problem. Number five, the person, be it gentleman or lady, who has not pleasure in a good novel must be intolerably stupid. This one, again, comes from Northanger Abbey, and Henry Tilney says this as he defends the novel and the idea that gentlemen do, in fact, read, quote, better books. This is in direct contrast with Catherine's earlier conversation with John Thorpe, who really does not respect novels and was ignorant as to who wrote The Mysteries of Udolpho. Number six, I suppose there may be a hundred different ways of being in love. This comes from Emma and was also said by Emma. Emma is assessing Mr. Elton and thinking that he is in love with Harriet, but she also states that he is almost too gallant to be in love. She writes it off with this quote that everyone simply expresses love differently and there may be 100 different ways of being in love. Interestingly enough, there is a similar sentiment in this book that comes from Jane Austen's letters. It says there are as many forms of love as there are moments in time. So I do think that Jane Austen acknowledged a lot of different forms of love, um, but in this particular quote, Emma is deluding herself into thinking that Mr. Elton is in love with Harriet with the excuse that there are so many different ways to express love for one another. Number seven, my idea of good company is the company of clever, well-informed people who have a great deal of conversation. That is what I call good company. And this comes from persuasion and is spoken by our main protagonist, Anne Elliot, she is talking to Mr. Elliot after being ashamed of how her family discusses their relationship with Lady Dalrymple and Miss Carteret. Number eight, I always deserve the best treatment because I never put up with any other. This is Emma, of course, being quintessential Emma. Number nine, do not give way to useless alarm. Though it is right to be prepared for the worst, there is no occasion to look on it as certain. This one comes from Pride and Prejudice. Mr. Gardiner is trying to calm down a very anxious Mrs. Bennet after they find out that Lydia has run off with Wickham. And number 10, I declare after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tires of anything than of a book. When I have a house of my own, I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. And this comes from Pride and Prejudice. Miss Bingley is speaking to Mr. Darcy. And I actually get really annoyed with this quote because it gets plastered all over Jane Austen merchandise as if it's in earnest, but is not in earnest at all. Caroline says this just to get Mr. Darcy's attention and flirt with him. The paragraph this quote is from explains that Caroline was quite exhausted by the attempt to be amused with her own book, which she had only chosen because it was the second volume of his. In context, it's rather ironic because she clearly doesn't like reading at all and is basically pretending to read to make herself more desirable to Mr. Darcy. So how did you do? I would love to know in the comments down below how many you got right and what some of your favorite Jane Austen 
quotes are. Um, obviously, these are not necessarily my favorite quotes. They're just ones that I pulled from this book. But I hope you guys had a lot of fun with this quiz, and I hope you're having a wonderful Jane Austen July. Let's chat all things Jane Austen down below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Bye.